What up, y'all? Welcome to the Marriage Be Hard Conversations. I am the one and only Kev on stage. This is my lovely and luxurious wife. Miss Kev on stage. And today we are joined by Spice Adams and his lovely wife, Mrs. Adams. We call, we call her AC, if you know her like we do. So we're going to call her Spice <laughs> and AC. Uh, Sp- Spice, we know about you. AC, tell us tell us about the world. Tell us, tell, tell us who you are, what you do, and why you married Spice. Just give us an introduction. <laughs> She was like, and, and why? Spice, we coming back to you. Spice, introduce yourself, man. Just hush and listen. Goodness gracious. So, my name is Ann Danica. Um, I'm from Detroit, so that's where Anthony and I met back in high school. Mm-hmm. She was stalking me. <laughs> Y'all already know. Let's keep it real. Y'all already Let's know. Let's keep it real. So, um, so yeah, I am a um, stay-at-home mom now. I, um, In my former life, I was a pharmacist. In a former life, you were a pharmacist. Yes. How long were you a pharmacist? Um, well, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still licensed and everything. I just don't do it anymore since we've had a family. So, so yeah, ever since 2003 when I graduated from college. So. Wow. Well, so you're Doctor AC. Yes. But she doesn't like for people to yeah, call her but doctor, just, but yeah. she's she's a doctor. You, you it's only title? black women who be like, you don't have to do that. And meanwhile, I'd be like, first of all, she said she's a doctor. <laughs> and she'll be addressed as such. Me, so moving forward. Let, let me get an honorary degree. <laughs> Dr. Kevin says I will be treated and respected as such. Not when you did the work and to, to pay the yeah. student loan. You actually I'm, earned it. Yes. Change my yeah. name legally. I'm good at operation. Call me Dr. Kev. Hey, look. So look, I would call her like on weekends sometime and be like, Hey, they see, you know, what's what's going on? Da, 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 da. She'd be like, I, I really got to go. Like, I'm studying. And I'd just be like, Are you serious? <laughs> you study on a Saturday? That's no. what you go to college for. Right. And this so, turned out to be to true. She was serious about <laughs> that thing. Turned out to be true. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So, uh, one, well, be, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, do you want Spice to introduce oh, yeah, yourself? Spice, please? introduce yourself, man. All right, yeah. And how long have you guys been married? My name is Anthony Adams. Uh, a lot of people call me Spice. My wife and I met when we were 14 years old. Wow. Oh, yeah. Snap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, we were 14, and uh, we've been married now for 16 years. Wow. Yeah. Four kids, ages 14, 12, 11 now, and nine. Mm. Yeah, wow. Just had a birthday. Nice. Yeah. You're not used to me. No, I'm I, here for this I, energy. I was expecting a different version yeah, of this you. Is, you know, I took my professional pills today. <laughs> his professional very, pills. As, as my wife would <laughs> Yeah, I tell him to take his professional pills. Uh, really? Yeah, because. Yeah. Come on, you know, prescribe. Yeah, she yeah. could. He's subscribing. Prescribe. He gets out of hand, as y'all know. I love so. it so much. <laughs> we was just being in there being spicy a minute ago. He was being spicy. I was just I was trying not. to tell him to chill out. Spicy is an only child, and it manifests often. <laughs> Spice cannot leave well enough alone. He's like, things are going well. What if I do this glass yes. against the wall? Chaos. Now things are going my way. Spice, are you the drama? Pretty, uh, oh, pretty, my. Uh, am I what? The drama? No. 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 That's why I didn't even understand what you said. Like, I've never heard of that word and me in the same sentence. Never, like, ever. Nah. Oh, Just don't man. Happen. <laughs> so I want to, well, we got two questions, but before we get into the actual questions, I have a question that I'm curious about. Uh, you guys have had different seasons, right? So you married, or I'm yeah. sorry, you date, met at 14. College, you guys went to separate colleges, yes. yeah. right? Then Spice was in the NFL. You were a pharmacist. Then Spice retired. You were like, y'all have navigated a lot of different time periods. Most couples don't have that many yeah. dramatic changes. How was navigating all of those things for you? Because NFL you, takes up half your year, mm-hmm. you know, and you're gone a lot, and then you're home, and then you're Spice, the content creator. You're the pharmacist. Then you're not the pharmacist. Then you have zero kids. Then you have four kids. Yeah. How have y'all st- still made it? Because <laughs> because transitions be hard. Transitions yeah. be hard too. Transitions I am over hard. hard. So transitions far. be hard. Not transitions, but God bless. Yes. Here. yes, I would say that. Um, I just know that the bottom line is that we love each other. Mm. And so like you just have to love each other through those things. So yep. even if like and then I don't become attached to a lot of things too. I try mm. to I try to not become attached to his profession, to his persona, you know, like I know who he is, mm-hmm. but like I try not to become too attached to that and try to make it like oh, I'm so and so's wife or I just 
if I don't have that attachment to it, it's easier for me to transition from one season to the next because then I'm not grieving the loss of the last season. I'm That's just kind of stepping forward. So. I love that. That's I good. Love that. But that that come with you know 16 years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's it's different, man. Like one year I'm playing for Chicago. And I can get released in the season, and then next thing you know, I'm playing for Seattle. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm going from like state to state, and got to meet different people and meet their chaplain and see when they doing couples Bible study and all right. that type of stuff. Like all the stuff that's important to us, mm-hmm. you know, because it's a percentage where it's like um, once you retire from football, I think it's like a 85 percent divorce rate or something like wow. that. Wow! Yes, oh yes, really it's high. it's. It's that like is high. outrageously yeah, it is high. high. Yeah. Do Dude, you know the reasons why, or do you speculate why? Yes, it's, you struggle when you're done with football. Like you don't have that set schedule, and you feel like you don't have like much to like wake up for. Mm. You know what I mean? Like where like you have to get up by six or seven to get to where you need to be to have meetings at eight, and you're there from eight to five. And when that's taken away from you, especially like me, I have one year left on my deal. And so I'm figuring, like, I had already spent some of that money that I was thinking I was going to get for the next year. And then it's, like, taken away from you. And you're like, dude, I still got so much football left to play. Yeah. And it's like now you get to the point where it's like, well, I guess I got to retire. And, you know, it's it's tough to do that, man. Like, I'm used to walking in the stadium and it's 100,000 people in there, like, screaming for me. Yeah. And now it's screaming kids. That mm. I hear every day, like it's a crazy transition, dude, Man, and it's abrupt too. Yeah, it's like yeah. bam, like we're at Disney World, and that's when I get released. Yeah, oh. Disney World. <laughs> we're on the bus. The kids like ah! <laughs> watching Mickey and everybody, and I'm I'm on the phone with my coach. Like, hey, you calling in February? <laughs> I usually don't get calls in February. Right, like, Man, right. you thinking about me that much, dude? <laughs> Yeah, yeah we're thinking about not having you yeah, on the team. Right. <laughs> we're we're moving on. Oh, uh, <laughs> what year was this? This was 2012. Okay, 2012. Yep. So, uh, marriage is or transitions are hard because you are used to kind of your rhythm, yep. and right. then when that's taken from you, have to find a new rhythm, right. and that is what causes the new season. Yeah. Do you have advice for people who are going through, obviously everybody's not professional football players, but people do lose their jobs. Yeah. Yeah. People do move from one state to the yeah. other. Kev was fired. We moved from Washington State to LA, like a lot. I came off my job and became an entrepreneur, and listen, I wasn't an NFL player, we all know this, but I do find a lot of um, meaning, I've said this before, in having a stable nine to five. The schedule of getting up, clocking mm-hmm. in, having a job description, knowing what to do, being able to clock out, coming home, doing it all the very next day. I do find solace in the entrepreneurship is not that at all. And yeah. so some days I do feel like, well, now what do I do? I don't really know. Yeah. Um, so do you have advice or, or I don't know, any type of like keys that you guys did in order to get through those transitions? Um, for me, I was just more so um, I, I just was trying to be supportive. Mm-hmm. So not where I'm like, well, what are we going to do now? Mm-hmm. You know, like <laughs> it was more like, OK, yeah, well, we'll, <laughs> we, we'll, we'll just try to figure this out. Like, yeah. OK, it's not the end of the world. And just, you know, being someone who could just be a partner in this and like, you know, just be as supportive as you possibly can. And as far as um, our relationship is concerned, like not making everything so tied to like, like, well, you have to do this or I'm going to be upset with you. Like, right. we're just, I'm like, okay, well, that was just, all right, you don't have a job. Well, neither do I. But, <laughs> but let's uh, <laughs> let's keep going, you know? Like, let's let's try to do something. I don't know. Like, um, yeah, it's just being supportive and not punishing him for the things that happen in life because that happens to everyone. So I can't be like, why don't you have a job today? Mm-hmm. Like, it's just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I would say that, the transition was a lot easier for me because I had the support of my wife. Mm. So it was like, if I was filming a video where most of my friends would be like, here he go shooting them stupid videos mm-hmm. again. Like this dude got a thousand followers. Like why is he wasting his time? Yeah, You know, I would be shooting a video and AC would be like, no, I think it need to be a better angle. 
So she'd take the camera and be like, no, let, let's let's shoot it from here. Oh, I love let's it. shoot it from this way and this way and whatever. And I think this would be funny. I know what you said, but I think this would be more what funny. What a than tech, like, AC. You, you the Martin Scorsese <laughs> behind Spice's She Scorsese. was over yeah. here directing. This whole time I thought she clearly was in Hall while Spice was <laughs> doing all this. She was holding the camera? Bruh. Well, yes. In the beginning, yes. <laughs> wow. Yes. In the beginning, yeah. before, you know, when he was getting his following up. AC I would be, be all on couches, like, oh, let's get it from this angle. I would have a baby in a Bjorn, and I'll be yeah. like, oh, wow. and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so for you, Spice, was that like, was that a sense of relief, a release of like of pressure that she was not only not tripping but mm-hmm. actually helping make make this stuff better? Yeah, it, it made me feel like good that I had the support of my wife because mm. some of the stuff I'd be doing it'd be like why like this is dumb like who thinks of <laughs> it is embarrassing because I'm Corporate not that type flow. of yeah I'm not that type of person <laughs> right. and then like he'll buy like a a suit or yeah. whatever and I'm like we really have to go here like <laughs> remember oh my gosh. so we I filmed my uh retirement at yes. uh, White Castle yeah she recorded that what? And so she was like so nervous. Like, what if they're gonna kick us out? Like, why were we going in there with the camera? Like, you go, you go in here to order food. Yeah. Like, why do we have cameras? I don't the like Chick-fil-A breaking the rules. I'm, like, I'm a real follower. No, yeah, I'm like, no, she, don't she do this. She recorded a Chick Fil A video. She didn't want to do it. We did it on a Sunday, and there's nobody there. <laughs> and, and I'm like, they're so gonna call like, the, the police. police. We're loitering. Call. We're loitering. We're in this parking lot. They're gonna come. They're gonna arrest us. So and so she doesn't do much filming yeah i don't do it anymore i just leave it to other people now i'm just like you know what it's too stressful i can't be putting myself in this situation (laughs) i'm thinking about the law yeah Yeah. you know we are you don't have a job we cannot she's like please hurry we we cannot go to jail you can't go to jail i can't go to jail we got kids what are you talking about um sorry my eyelash oh my god i love it so much i love it so much all right okay oh my last question second question uh this is the one we ask everybody what, if any, uh, or what is, if any, the biggest misconception about you guys' marriage? The biggest misconception? I don't even know. I don't even pay attention that much to know. Okay, I've been on the shade room. I'm going to tell you what it is. No, <laughs> 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 it doesn't have to be one if yeah. you don't think there's one. I don't know. Um, I don't pay too much attention to Your yeah. marriage isn't really on public display like that for like public or public I don't tag consumption. Her. And yeah. like no like videos or pictures and like I tell that him to leave me out of she his. She doesn't want me to. Yeah, mm-hmm. I not mean. because I'm not like you know. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. to He's, some degree, it's good to keep that private. Like it's yeah. not open for public consumption, right. which is also means pub- people's opinions. Public, yeah, right, r- ridicule. Yeah, yeah, and that's what like I have a problem with it because I already I'm like I have a private pay everything's private for me so I don't like so is private every or... so he's a public person I am not <laughs> right. so I'm like this is your profession not just like the NFL was your profession mm-hmm. so like I will help you and assist you but I don't want to necessarily like be open mm-hmm. to that because yeah. you can handle things that I cannot sure yeah. so yeah. that's why I'm like if he put a picture, I'm like, you better not tag me. <laughs> you better not tag me. I don't like. I always, I'm like, in the, I'm in the witness protection program. That's what I say. I'm like, do not tag me. I do not want to be known. Uh, Listen, uh, I maybe, maybe a misconception would be like I, I act like how I do in my videos and my marriage. Mm, and that's I, good. I yeah. really don't. Like right. I'm really like hands on guy. Like I get up sometime and make the kids breakfast and take them to school mm-hmm. and. You know, make sure I show up to all of their functions and things like that. Like, we really are just like a, we are that corny family that you might see right. on, a, on a sitcom. Basic. Like, that is us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. tell us about a day in the life in the typical Spice Adams family. Adams family. Well, I didn't want to say Adams family because. No, oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think I've heard that before. Yeah. Uh, well, now my son, who I don't really want to play football is mm. now playing football. Mm. And he so, tried so hard, Spice. I really did. I knew at some <laughs> point he was going to play, but I didn't want him to, like, resent me, mm-hmm. you know, and be like, oh, man, if I would have played, da, 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 da. So I knew, like, by the time he turned 14 and uh, when he went to high school that he was going to end up playing. But I know he doesn't understand this, but 
I try to tell him I play football, so you won't have to. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I don't want his fingers to end up like this. Yeah. My back is hurting right now. Yeah. Like my knees are throbbing right now, mm-hmm. and I'm 42. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? But they've Dang. been hurt. <laughs> she's 42, by the way. Also. <laughs> and she's also six months older. Than <laughs> These are you unnecessary not, details. You, look, you did not have to say See? that was six months old. See, you give it unnecessary <laughs> no, detail. Listen, that. one thing I'm always gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna don't worry about it, I got you. <laughs> I've been fighting spice all day. <laughs> uh like I was saying. No, like, like I was saying, I don't want him to feel this way. I've been feeling like this for years. It's not like mm. it just happened when I turned 42. Like yeah. it's been happening since I was in my twenties. So I I don't want him to feel like that, but you know, now he has his schedule where he's going to high school and he had 6.30 a.m. workouts. Good. Yeah, Did y'all so. see the video of the alarm clock? Yes. I didn't even think that was re- I oh, watched it. I was like, yeah, th- I couldn't process how loud that was. It was. Mm-hmm. It's so, we heard it upstairs. His room is on the first floor. He and we heard it upstairs. Oh, my God. Knocked yeah. out. Yeah. Not in the face. Yeah. Not in the, it, what is it? It was a, did you see it? I didn't see it. Not only was the alarm going off, it had fell, it was like a physical alarm clock. Yeah. yeah. Fell oh. off and was ringing and banging on the floor. I can't. Yeah. This close to him on the ground, that boy was in the bed. He didn't hear nothing. Done. nothing. No bills, nothing like that. Oh, he's he's supposed to sleep. So he's just, he's, he's yeah. gone. Like, That's the sleep yeah. I need to go back to. Yeah. Man. Right. I was jealous of how yeah. well he was resting. Yeah. Yeah. His he body was, was like, man, forget all that. Yeah. Yeah. Like these R.E.L. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. That, oh, yeah. Sounds, right. yeah. Like, that sounds like peace. That's, that's that yeah. weekend That's sleep. that black, yeah. black kid back at church sleep. Yeah. You know, revival that's screaming in weeds. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So we've done something right. Like right. our kids sleep well. <laughs> oh, that's so peaceful sleep. That, that is we, peaceful yeah. sleep. But Anthony's, like, our household is, is very basic. He's up in the mornings with him. Um fixing him breakfast, taking him to school. He's the person in charge of all the, he does all the school Mm drop-offs. So he'll take the kids to school and and then I'll drop them off and everything. And then he'll either shoot videos or, or just work in his office and, and everything. And I'll just be running all the errands. So I I pride myself in taking my kids to school. Because I I want to, because when I was playing football, I couldn't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it would be uh, Mondays I could, and Tuesdays our day off, like I could. But Wednesday through Friday I couldn't. And For years. Yes. Yeah. So it's like I make it a point to always try to take my. I, we, I I take Melissa and I split because our kids go to different school, but <clears throat> we also it's important to take them and pick them up. At, yeah. I mean, we it's it's very rare that we schedule a meeting that inner inner uh or. Fierce. Interferes, oh, interception. Yeah, I know. Intersex. Uh, that must be intersex. Inter- inter- intersex. Sex. But interferes with that because, it, like, I was thinking about this. We took my JoJo. I took JoJo to a soccer tournament a couple weeks ago, and I keep telling the story, but it's funny. Is JoJo nice? He's he's, good. he's real good. He's really oh, good. No lie. Oh, excellent. But I didn't realize it was some tournaments are three games points, and then you go home. Don't speak to me about tournaments, boy. Mm. I, this tournament didn't it didn't click that it was a tournament. <laughs> Right, I didn't see no I brackets. I saw the post. Right, it was like two hours. Mm. So they, it, uh, <laughs> ten minutes left in the game, they're up one zero, and they shouldn't be beating this team, but they are. One of the parents is like, "Oh, if we win this, we got a six o'clock championship game." So if we, if we what? Oh, this is two hours away. <laughs> and then after, so they won. Of course, they actually scored another goal, and I was like, "Mother." Yep. <laughs> but I was thinking when I was driving him home, and he was peacefully asleep, mm-hmm. not exhausted and hungry. I was like, "These are the moments." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Parenthood is these moments. It ain't yep. all birthday cake and stuff. It's the tournament you didn't want to be at. Now you got to drive two hours. Like those, the drop off and the pickup. The, the all day and that's why I don't let my kids play untimed sports you can't wrestle you can't do track oh them oh, we, meets we, be we're, all we're a wrestling family oh, oh wrestling. he, he wrestles, wrestles, he wrestles all day. as well Un- yeah. them tournaments oh all day yeah. them is all day yeah. Yeah. We, we just did AAU we did AAU basketball mm-hmm. we were in Kentucky we are in Indianapolis uh, all over Chicago how many sports does your son play he does track and field he does wrestling he does basketball and football now Oh, he does all the all the Kev, all he's the He's an old school athlete. We yeah, used to play all four. Now this, the kids just do one. This kid is a junior Olympian. I know. Oh, wow. since, in, in, since the age of six. Oh wow. And he's fourteen now. Yeah. Javelin, shot put. Yeah, he oh, he's doing distance. field events. Yeah, he does field. He be he does, winning. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, he, real. He's good. He's, this kid's been number one in the state 
and javelin and shot put since he was six. Look at wow. you, proud dad. Okay, I Come see. On. <laughs> I you know, it might have something to do with ah, some of this coaching. Come you know, on. There it is. I'm not mad. But not he mad. really don't even need I'm it, man. He's proud he's, of your he's boy. Good. I see you. Yeah, that's my baby. <laughs> oh, I love it. A little spice. Oh. Okay, so we are here because our book, Marriage Be Hard, is coming out September 13th. Make sure that you get it anywhere and everywhere. Make sure that you cop it. We're having conversations with some of our favorite couples oh, to discuss nice. the realities of marriage so ac spice very first question marriage be hard yes or no you agree disagree At why times. why not At go times. go on say more expound um you know there are times where they're challenging your you know you're having um a, i don't know let me start adulting okay. yeah you're adulting <laughs> and a lot of things come into play and you're trying to navigate that and, you know, being respectful of your marriage and and kids and family and all that other stuff comes into play. But then Dealing a lot with of- with me? Yeah, mm. yeah. Shut up, but, <laughs> like, We didn't need that I'm sound just effect. Like, that's really? a lot. It's just not <laughs> that's a lot. But, need that sound but all in all, it's, it, it, it's been great. Mm -hmm. It really has been great. You know, being married to him has been, it's been enjoyable. It's really, it's really fun. I would give it a, a five-star Yelp review. <laughs> nice. If I, I love it. I was jealous of y'all. I ain't going to hold you. Spice shared them pictures when y'all went to St. Lucia. Oh, it looked beautiful. And that oh. hotel. Y'all got to go. We've we been, but that hotel was closed when we were there. And the oh. hotel we stayed at was amazing. And everybody was like, if you stayed here, you got to come back one time and stay at uh, Sugar, Sugar Beach. Yeah, it was yeah. Sugar Beach. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it okay, was next brand time. new. Yeah. yeah. It's, and it's you sent really... those pictures, and I was like, we have to go back. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. it was nice in a different way. Y'all looked relaxed. Yeah. Jealousy yeah. filled me. Yeah. <laughs> Dog, and we enjoy each other's company. So, like, That's we yeah. don't need to be around. Yeah, we actually like each da, da, other. Da, da, da. Like, we just kicking it, dog. Just That's chilling true. for a week. I love it. That's great. Just That's chilling. actually, I think, one of the important pieces to the marriage don't be hard. Like, marriage is hard, but when you enjoy and like the person you're with, it does make it yeah. easier. Yeah. 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 When you're able to have and maintain a, a level of friendship. Absolutely. Right. 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 Like, I agree with that. And we oh, recognize right. that like hard things are hard. So you're mm -hmm. going to go through seasons and they're going to be hard. They're going to be difficult. But, you know, I just know that we're on each other's side. We're not trying to hurt one another. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to be malicious or anything like that. So we're going to work through it. We just got to, you know, communicate and talk and just work it out and try to figure out like, OK, well, I was upset about this, but. Let's try to do better, you know. And yeah. It's all about improvement and not <laughs> indicting someone and just, you know, making it hard for for the other person. You look yeah. good today, though. <laughs> Look real good. She, she does very, look amazing. Thank you very much. Right. You Our shirts you almost match. I know. When I saw, it, I was like, "Oh, look, yeah, we almost match. So cute." I'd be doing that exactly <laughs> like you saying, "Good girl, I'm going to take you down." Show I in. love it. Show well, one of the things that AC said is uh, about communication, and sometimes communication be hard. Yeah, it do. It do. Why? Why is communication hard? I think all of us can agree that communication is hard, but why? What is it about communication that makes it so difficult? I think people are different and people communicate differently. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think that we both have two different communicating styles. <laughs> And Tell us what you and that's been no, a no, no, big no. issue. No. You describe his and then you describe hers. Mm -hmm. That was a good list. Oh. So <laughs> Anthony's is he was trying to like give you a fist bump. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. I was I was involved on. in the conversation. I, cool. I missed it. I'm right. He should have he should have did it. He should have did it. I think his is just like I got better though. <laughs> have, have we don't even know what it is yet. She didn't say I, no more. I was about to say it was great. Okay, okay. No, I wasn't. <laughs> no, I think that his is um Tell him tell him tell him about what I told you to to meet me at the crib. He's oblivious. Like, he's just like, he doesn't see that there's a problem sometimes. And you're mm. like, you, you didn't see that? Mm. That is so funny. Mm. That so, is kept too. So I. Well, well, well. So then when I I tell him, then he's like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's more like, um, I don't know. We're just. I'm what just, was this story? The, 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 the you got to tell story. the story, the crib story. 
All right. So uh, <laughs> I had a uh, I had got my mom a house out in the suburbs. That sounded like a flex a little bit. He said like he picked well, up Chick Fil A. I mean, y'all, I played in the NFL. Right, like, right. I mean, I, I got that's, my mama that's purse. That's like the first thing you do when you play in the NFL. <laughs> oh, like, it's by my mama house. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, she stayed out in the suburbs, which is uh, I want to say at least 30, 45 minutes from the city of Detroit. Uh, but we also had the the old house that mm-hmm. uh, she had, and I I was back and forth between that house and the new house. So, uh, AC, this was, we were engaged at Maybe. the time, or I don't, I don't dating, know. whatever it was, AC was like, hey, where are you at? Like, I'm, I'm trying to come see you real quick, because she was working mm-hmm. at the pharmacist, you know what I mean, getting that, getting that bread, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that's my sugar mama. Mm-hmm. So she texted me, she's like, where you at? I'm like, oh, I'm at the crib, come, come check me oh, out. Oh, no. So, <laughs> at the crib, for me, Met the new means one. The, the the old house. Oh, okay, Detroit. you see, you see. Mm. <laughs> I definitely thought okay, the new one, but so I got you. So when, there we when are. she said at the crib, when I said at the crib, she thought I meant to the, the house at the burbs. So she goes to the one at the burbs, and I'm at the crib, <laughs> waiting for her. And like, dang dog, like where's she at? I said I was at the crib at least twenty minutes ago. She act like she was in the neighborhood. <laughs> I'm like, dang, where you at? So she's <laughs> like, uh, Anthony, when you said at the crib. <laughs> You didn't mean this crib out here in the suburbs? I'm like, oh, you went to that crib? No, I meant the crib crib. You know when you say it twice. That means. I should have put crib crib on there. When I text, I should have put crib crib. And then she would have she would have known. No, crib crib oh, would have meant the old but I, one. I've gotten better though. Oh, but yeah. let me tell you the rest of the story. So uh, then it's, he's it's like, more? "Well, he was like, well, are you gonna come see me?" And I'm like, <laughs> uh, no. "No, I only had one drive out in me." Oh uh, no. <laughs> yeah. who, who wouldn't want to see this? <laughs> no. So I, she of did. Course I'm an I, ex. Of course I wanted and, to see. And on the way back, ago. of course and I'm an ex. Wait, baby, you must have made me. No, I got nervous about my equal. Okay, so you have to pass the crib. To, to get, get to the oh, new yeah. no. So I passed right by and went to my crib <laughs> because I didn't have time for foolishness. You drove by where he yes, was. I, I was bet you no. I won't stop. I, I speed did, up. First. I did not <laughs> stop at all, Melissa. No, I did not. Yeah. No. Before you left? I went home. I don't know. Because I, don't, I remember the no. story differently. I thought you came and like rolled out a window and gave me a kiss. <laughs> no, no. That didn't happen. No. Nope. She said no, no. And then, okay, Spice, what is AC's communication style? Her communication style is uh, is very like detailed. <laughs> if if it was like had a time stamp on it, it'd be like second one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. Uh, can you go pick up the kids? And by the kids, I mean Amaya, Amina, and Ayana. Um, you don't have to get Anthony because I'm going to get Anthony right now. We have a eye appointment that we have to be at, and. Once we're done with that, then I'll come home and dinner is going to be uh, stir fry chicken <laughs> that I'm going to make that I'm getting from Trader Joe's currently. I'm here now. My mine be like, listen. I'm going to get the kids. Yes, listen, <laughs> I promise you, this is Melissa Frederick and I am Spice Island. It's very detailed. I'd be like, this is a lot of information. It never crosses my mind to share information like that. There's 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 never a thought in my mind where I'm like, this is unclear. <laughs> This information that you're giving me right now, what do I do with it? I mean, it's everything. Like, for, like packing my bag to come here. Like, she, it's everything in the bag that I didn't know that I needed. And I end up using it. Like, down to pistachios. How did she know Literally I pistachio? wanted pistachios? Remember, I used to, take, I used to go to um, camp, mm-hmm. to football camp, and AC to have every short set that I ever bought there and it'll have like cashews and beef jerky and like all the time. I'll be like, oh, this is this is cute. That is so wow. nice. This is That's nice. That's very thoughtful. I'm going to I'm gonna have a great camp. <laughs> that was very thoughtful. <laughs> Alarm clock, everything. Man. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm a simpleton though, really. But I think the cool thing about us is I'm an extrovert. Mm. And she's an what? introvert. And <laughs> Surprise. I put her in like all these different uh, situations where she she's a closet extrovert. Okay? Me too. Yep. I would say <laughs> I'm a closeted extrovert yeah. too. That's a cool yeah. thing about us. I think. Yeah, that's funny. We make it work. 
You have to. Uh, next one. Are you ready? Yeah. No. I'm jumping in. All here. right. Quarantine be hard. How was 2020 for y'all? She she said I thrived. He. <laughs> <laughs> he's a person like we as our marriage as far as our marriage is concerned I felt like it was fine mm-hmm. like I didn't quarantine didn't bother me personally because I like being at home mm. so like I'm like I don't care I don't want to be outside anyway right. so <laughs> it was fine with me but Anthony you know of course he was dying on the inside but he found a way to you know connect and always be on the internet and all yeah. that but, but yeah I felt like it was fine like being in each other's space, it was, you know, like, we're we're good together. I, I really like being around them. So, like, it really, for us, it wasn't as challenging. Um, but I feel like we're also privileged, like, yeah. where you live mm-hmm. and all that other stuff where you have more room to mm-hmm. kind of go other places if you need time mm-hmm. to yourself. So I do feel like that was also a benefit. But quarantining itself was fine. Um with kids in school, uh, you know. They yeah, were, because parenting be hard too. Man, parenting that be hard. Mm-hmm. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a parenting be hard. Oh, yeah, cool. a good book, yeah. <laughs> Tell me more. Let's talk about the parenting part of it. Well, it's just because we have four kids, and some of them have Anthony's personality, and some of them have our my personality. Mm. So, so yeah. So he's um, so then I'm dealing with like younger Anthony's. And you know, which is not a bad thing. That's a great thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I had a good time during quarantine. Yeah. Though, man. I was I was working out a lot more, and I found out that I like uh, I like bonfires. <laughs> yeah, I thought bonfires was the dumbest thing in the world. Like, Wait, you know, sit around some fire. But Anthony is also the guy who like he's he's one of those. Um, the infomercials type of dude like he'll buy <laughs> every, anything off of an infomercial yes and he'll buy i any, got it right that time though he buys everything like for real like pots and stuff that like if you have hilarious. a product he will buy it you be on uh-huh. qvc no. with your credit he's, card out he, he, no, he's like one step i feel like 10 years <laughs> You gonna be on QVC? Years, gonna be on it. You gonna, you gonna be, be on the QVC? Yeah, he's gonna be on QVC with like, the automatic. He's gonna have yes, with the your, auto pay. Yeah, with the auto pay he's with your credit card credit already card, plugged yes. into the television. So all you got to do is hit buy that now. No, yes. no, that's not gonna be me. I, I disagree. <laughs> I, I respectfully disagree. I respectfully oh, disagree. Yeah. yeah, I respectfully no. disagree with that. So tell me, <laughs> tell me, okay, uh, tell me about. Oh, this is a good one. Fighting be hard. Y'all be fighting. What do y'all fights look like? What do your disagreements look mm, like? I'm curious about that. Oh, they're they're long. Okay, give us a give us one give us the one re don't go deep now. Uh-huh. But give us the one recurring conversation that you guys have over and over and over and over again. I'll give I'll give uh Kevin and I because we just talked about it. Ours is communication. Mm-hmm. Um ours it because Kevin is very busy i think y'all were just teasing him out there kevin is very very busy he always has three million things going on in his mind his to-do list is always very very long and i actually told him this morning i was like as your partner i never want to feel like something is happening in your right hand that i'm unaware of as your partner i need to be aware of what's going on in your life in your world so that way i can speak to it i never want to be caught off guard i never want someone to tell me something that i'm unaware of i never want to find out something that someone else also knows before like i don't want to be that person and so having the conversation about what that style of communication looks like for us has been a conversation we've had for years partly because being able to articulate and communicate it as clearly as I can today hasn't always been the case. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I we've talked about it. Like I said, it's been a pattern that's come up over and over and over again. But not being able to find the words to say it correctly means we're going to continue to have the same, some, some, some form of the same conversation over and over and over again until I'm able to say, like, this is what I'm trying to say finally. And then literally I told him, say, I'm like, OK, now that we're here, we need to put an action plan to it instead of just talking it like, oh, look at us. We identified it. And now we can move done. on. <laughs> you know, we have to put an action plan so that way we can do something to actually resolve it. So that's, that's like 
quite literally something we've, I mean, we talked about it earlier, but it's literally something we've been talking about over and over and over again. And it's fresh because it's something we talked about today. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, So it is the like communication be hard and very specifically like for us what that looks like. Gotcha. AC, what, what you think? I don't know. Well, I mean, I think communication for us, too. I mean, like, we're different. Like, ours is, like, for me, I don't, I'm the type of person where I need to process everything. So me too. you won't hear from me if something happens. You won't hear for it for a couple of days because I've oh, gone over, yeah. like, every scenario in my head to make sure that yes. when I'm offended, I'm going to make sure that, like, me these too. are the reasons why I'm offended. Mm-hmm. But, and then um, I'll be like, hey, what's what's up? Everything good? Yeah. Everything's fine. But it's not. Bro. It is not. You'll find out on it's Thursday. Something. Right. <laughs> Join <laughs> us <laughs> next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> that sounds very familiar. No, I'm exactly Dang. the same. Yeah. I do. Part of it is because for me, and you can agree or disagree, but for me, I know I am. Um, if I am triggered, I know I have very sensitive triggers. Okay, I I know this about myself. So before I come at you, let me make sure that it's not something I can control. Let me make sure it's not just me being dramatic and being extra and going over the top. Let me make sure it's something that you need to address. So it may take me a couple of days. You know, I don't want to be lying because I don't really be lying today. It is OK. Mm-hmm. But when I go to sleep and arise tomorrow, maybe I have a different revelation on the scenario. And yes. now it's not. Mm-hmm. Oh! I 100% agree. Now it's not okay. And actually, I do need to have a conversation with you. <laughs> Hold on, player. Let me holler at you real quick. Come on in here. You step out of the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I need you to come on back up in here because I'll be having the words to say today uh, that weren't uh-huh. there yesterday. And so I do need that time to process. I remember early on in our marriage, Kev would be like, you know, the Bible says don't go to sleep on your anger. So, like, don't let the sun set on your anger. So, like, we need to talk about it. With the Bible. Hit her with the yeah. old testy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it didn't work. <laughs> It was already dark outside when I said that. The sun did set already. I also, I don't like stuff like that anyway because it does take me time to process. So you're either going to get like a very, um, because I love words and sentences and the way things come together, you're either going to get a very like, ooh, I have something like really good and deep to say and let's talk about it. Or you're going to get a, well, you want to talk about it, but let's talk about it. Yes. <laughs> Yes. I don't know if you I want that, that option. Let's talk about it. Just talk about it. No, I don't. Now. But in the moment, I'm so flooded with emotion, and you want to have the conversation. Bet, talk about it. Ta- I never liked your, your mama words. anyway. Well, oh, great, because yeah. I want to talk about your mama too. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, yeah, no. So that's it. You, these are the two options. Yeah. Mm. No, yeah, I no, I I will 100% <laughs> agree with you. You have to have time to think. Well, for me, I, I have to have time to process it because I don't want to just vomit out words. Mm. And then some of them I can't, you know, you can't take, you can't back, take, those, it back. You can't take back those words. Yeah. And so I would rather just gather my thoughts. Let me think about it. Let but me it's, it's process it. It's actually for it. the best. Yeah, I mm. think it's for Because I feel like I... Oh, yeah. I have sure. some bite, you know, Me like, too. oh, yeah. So, you got some, some bite in you? What? You ever seen a pit bull? Like, <laughs> pit bull don't let go. <laughs> pit bull you don't can, let you go. Get, like, pit bull will be dead. He's still. <laughs> Listen, like, Melissa, he's dead, though. Like, man, Melissa's man. six foot tall, she said. I do every day. <laughs> when it comes to them words, she's as tall as I am. For oh, real. Man. Spice was talking to Kev. I stood between. Don't worry about it. I got I it. Yeah. 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 Yep. Spice yeah. That's why, that's why I stay seated. Spice will do this to me. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I stay seated. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can stand up. You can stand up. I look at you like this and still be like, I bet y'all fight you. But that's, that's why I stay seated. Yeah. Because oh, you knew. You knew. I knew. I you knew what it. time it was. I seen the bite from a mile away. When I seen your head do like this, I maybe need to stay away from this subject. Oh, man. Kevin, I'm proud of you, man. You're doing so good. He changed so quick. <laughs> yeah, the whole fluctuation of my voice. Kev, man, you're doing so good. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, man. Uh, okay, Spice, what's your communication style? What you be doing? What Are do you I a runner or a wayer? Are you a confronter? I don't like the confrontation. I you're don't. an avoider. I don't know if I'm an avoider, mm. but I try to, like, get to whatever the problem is and like let's let's just talk about it now or whatever because I don't like for it to fester and, yeah. and like you I don't like to go to bed angry and then like that I don't like for the whole day to go by knowing that my wife is upset at something that I did because mm-hmm. I want to be like 
I want to be like that great husband. I want to be that great dad. I want to mm-hmm. be that great father. And I like, like that's my goal. Like every day, every yeah. day I wake up, what can I do to be the best dad? Mm-hmm. What can I do to be the best husband? If I fall short of that, then it's just like, it's like with football. You mm-hmm. know, I, I try to like, you know, relate to things that have happened with me. And it's just like, if I don't have a good play, how can I better myself yeah. where you won't be looking at the film being like, dog, what is you doing right, right. here? You got to get it back the next one. But yeah. Anthony's also the type of person Sorry. where he sees, he tries to see the best out of everyone. He's he's a very nice person. Yeah. And you're like, you're just like this person. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, Straight like. criminals. Yeah. <laughs> I know he, criminals who he, actually he, good But he's, he's, a very ni- he's a very nice person. You're optimistic. So he, yeah, he's very yeah. optimistic. He, very, he always tried, he's a half, a glass half, empty t- like half full, full half full <laughs> type of guy he's mm-hmm. very like he's like oh well you know they didn't mean me like yes they did a little murderer my friends. <laughs> it was I'm three murders friends. it could have been five or six he stopped at three <laughs> I'm still alive <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're safe <laughs> and they're gonna watch our kids this weekend right you don't murder kids, only adults. Take it easy, man. Everybody makes mistakes. Right. <laughs> Spice, I think you're a teddy bear. I Do people not know Invited. this about you? I don't think that people know. AC says, like, I don't look like I'm approachable, but I am. You know? Like, I guess I give a look like a big burly type dude yeah. that you don't want to mess with. And you don't, but... <laughs> Let's all be clear. Know, Let's yeah, all be clear. Yeah, you, know, you actually got, don't want to mess with me. I mean, if you feel froggy, you can, you can lick if you want to. I got them hands. Like, Period. You know, I don't like to use them, but I mean, they they're here. <laughs> and, I mean, they're rated E for everyone. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I don't discriminate on the hands. That's so great. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but in reality, I that is I'm listening to AC talk about you and some of the things you said. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm a nice dude. Mm-hmm. You're kind of soft. Yeah, I, he, I wouldn't say he, that. Well, well he, I don't he, mean it like yeah. you know I, what I mean. I know, okay, I yeah. yeah, but yeah, he I think he tries to see the good in everyone, and he's willing to give people chances and all of that. And I mean, that's it's very it's commendable. Mm. I don't possess those. <laughs> <laughs> is she your reality check? Of course. Yep. You know, it, it's, it's things that I, I run by AC all the time. You know, even sometimes where it doesn't even warrant that. Like, we, AC had called me about, like, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> I'm going to get these Brussels sprouts. They're, like, they're $9. I have a coupon for them. I can take them down to 6 Do you think I should get them? I'm like. Yeah, I'm very indecisive. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Like, it's not hurting nobody that you. She still coupons, dude. Like, what's wrong with that? I, I get them down. Uh, to it's six. a skill that I wish I had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah I wish. Yeah, I of course, get it. of course, I, I can have. Get them down to six. Just of course, them, I man. use coupons. I love it. Actually, I want, when that coupon show was really popular on like Lifetime mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. 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 yeah, people be paying. They owe them money. They they no, them legit. That, we owe you five dollars. <laughs> I wanted to learn how to do it. I didn't have the patience or like the organization to From like space. the you go yeah. here, go here, yeah. then clip yeah. it, and you got to double this and add it to add it. I'm sitting there, man. Yeah. It's yeah. like you paid full price for that. I'd be like, yeah. Do you uh do you stock too? No, no, no. I just I just know my sales. Like <laughs> not not like not like. Crazy you don't have later. no room with 700 <laughs> no. Yeah, that's, we don't, we don't no. have to keep this no. <laughs> no, no 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 I don't no, have that's super 4, relatable. no I don't <laughs> I just I just know that certain things you buy on sale and certain things you don't pay full price for so mm. I'm like so when he just buys stuff you're like you really bought that like oh my gosh <laughs> okay you couldn't wait a week you oh, know it's like hilarious. President's Day wait sale or like you know President's Day is next week you know they put everything on sale. You know the sale is coming. No, I don't. I know that I want this right now. And so I bought it. Wait wait a week. (laughs) A week. Wait one week. All right. This is the last question we ask all of our couples. What piece of advice would you give your younger married self? Mm, My younger married self. Um, I would say give yourself some grace. Mm. Mm. What does that mean or look like? It means that you're going to mess up. You're not going to do things right. You're not going to get it all. You're not going to have it all together. Whatever you think that's in your head, it's not, you know, like a lot of that doesn't happen. Real life is real life. 
and you may mess up. Mm-hmm. And so you have to give yourself grace and keep going and just, you know, keep pushing forward and know that you have a spouse that you love and you want to, you know, do life with and just keep it moving and try to do the best you can. Love it. Nice. Nobody I, said I that. would tell my younger self and to keep it real, I would say do a better job of the leave and cleave. Do a better mm. job of that. Because, mm. you know, I'm the only child. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Again. <laughs> uh, so that was that was kind of a difficult uh, move for me mm. because it's just been me and my mom forever. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now, but you know, like I said, I've been knowing AC and her family since we were fourteen. Mm-hmm. So you know, I mean, we, we we had that in our back pocket, but it it was still hard for my mom, mm. and it definitely was hard for me. And uh, but you know, it's a it was a progression where we got better at it and uh you know it was just a a time in my life where like everything was just like new to me yeah you know what i mean like the marriage and you know making sure that i was the provider that i needed to be mm-hmm. and i couldn't be the provider that i needed to be if i was still you know doing things with my mom like yeah. taking care of my mom whatever now the priorities go to my wife mm-hmm. and now we got one kid and we got two now we got four kids. Mm-hmm. Hey, mom, hey. Yeah. Right. This is enough now. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. You know, so I would say, you know, just <laughs> no. do better at what I'm biblically supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. It's very good. Yeah, very good. Very good. All right, you guys. No. Okay. No. All right, you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Marriage Be Hard Conversations. The book is out everywhere that it is out so make sure that you click the link in my description box please make sure that you support it if it is not september 13th please make sure that you pre-order it if it is september 13th or thank you very much september 13th or after please make sure that you get it now and yes there is an audiobook and yes we are narrating it have a great day wow (laughs) Make sure you have a great day. Have a great day. Not a great or, die. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you stay alive. Please stay alive. Let it go, Spice. Let some things go. <laughs> Bye.